let's start creating a Chinese chess game in Eclipse using Java. Okay, let's bring up the Eclipse. So today we'll print out a 9 by 10 MD board of Chinese chess. So we'll create Let's create a new Java project. C chess. Next. Finish. Go to this and create a new Java package. So we'll follow our convention, com dot golden sum dot golden letter dot c chess finish. Now, with this package selected, let's create our new Java class. So this is our entry point class, C chess. So we will use the main method. And we'll create another one to represent another class to represent our chessboard. See chessboard. This is our logical center. We we'll all write two string. Method to print out the board. So we'll start from we'll start from our single dot. So let's define string board string equals a single dot and return this is our board description now let's go back to our entry point class save it we don't need that and then delete, delete that so now let's create an object of our C chess board. Board equals new C chess control C chess board. Now we can print out BRD. Let's give it a try. Run it. You see here we have the dot. Cool. Now let's use a for loop to print out the first row of nine dot 
four. So here we use nine. We use the column as the name. So let's start from empty here. So every time we will append for the string, we will append a space and a dot. Save it. Run again. Nine dots. Cool. Now we'll add another for loop to output the ten rows of dots. So we can do this for let's use row as the name. So we have 10 rows. Now we can move this one into here. So if we run it, we'll see. Oh, we need a nine break somewhere. Okay. So We can append a line break. Line break is backslash n. Let's try it again. Yes. Here we are. Nine by ten dots. Now let's try to add a label number the label above it like one two for the columns so an easy way to do is another for loop here so we can use i equal so let's we need a leading space and plus i so every time we append a number there and don't forget we need a line break after the first row. Let's give it a try. Yes. Zero. One, two, three, four. Now that's at our a column of vertical labels like zero row zero row one row two row three how can we do that we'll insert a number in front of each row So we can insert here a 
on the vine like that. Row is the changing the iterator and a plus concatenated with an empty string. So this is how we change this integer, convert this integer to a string. So it means for zero, you will become a string zero, the letter. Let's try it. Oh, now we need another space in front of the first row. That a space, a space. Okay. Here we are. Done. See you next time.